So I'm going to show you a video here of uh, what happened about a year and a half ago. I was trying to save some time in a motor yard and it rained. So I thought while it was raining, I'd go ahead and do blades. Well, that didn't work out so good. Uh, the yard I just did when it started raining was had dog feces in it. And apparently when I went to sharpen the blades, the uh, dog had hookworm and it got into my skin real bad all the way through my forearm and uh, my back. Uh, basically everywhere where the moisture dripped on the ground and then I was laying on the garage floor taking the blades off and of course where my forearm contacted the leading edge of the deck but then they spread after that the problem with it is is that in Central America and developing countries you can get the medicine for it for like 50 bucks but in the U.S., it's like almost $2,000. So I tried to do the homeopathic stuff, and I ended up spending nearly $2,000 anyway. But it was, a, it was a nightmare. It was a year and a half of misery. And they say that they can't live in humans for more than 30 days. But uh, I think that's uh, maybe... Traditionally, people get it in their feet, which is a tougher tissue. Um, your arm and back and stuff, it's a more of a softer tissue. And I don't know, maybe they went through a couple generations because they tend to um, get into your uh, lungs and then you cough them up and, and then they get into your, and you cough them, and then they go into your digestive system and then the cycle repeats. So I think maybe there was a couple of generations of them that were successful, stayed in me for, for a while. But uh, it was, the worst of it was you could see the, the worms and everything in your skin. You could feel them biting you because you could, you could see the, the, the uh, bumps. It almost looked like tadpoles. Their heads would be in one spot and their bodies would be out behind it. And then everywhere where they had been, it would crack and bleed. Um, I tried everything, tried everything. But anyway, let me see if I can show you my forearm. There's still some scarring. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna show up on there. But the little white areas, those are scars from it. So, there's not as many on the left. Uh, losing control of the video here but anyway so if you're out mowing dog shit don't uh don't work on the mower um wait until you go do a couple dry yards and let that bastard get real sandblasted you know from some dry work but don't ever, you know, when it, if it's dripping wet and there's any chance there's dog, you know, on there. Because uh, that yard, with the expense, I'll never make a profit on that yard if I mow it the rest of my life, you know. So, it is what it is.